Hey guys, the objective of this video is to just discuss two theoretical concepts, which is the applied moment at one end being M is going to result in M on two on the other end. We're then going to look at the fixed end moments of a beam, which will be WL squared on 12. We're then going to be doing an example just to give a conceptual understanding on the method of moment distribution, which I like to call a balancing act. So the first piece, first piece of theory is that if a moment M is applied at the end of a prop cantilever, so this is a prop cantilever, we're applying a moment M, a moment of M on two is induced at the fixed end of the beam, okay? So we, if we apply a moment M here, we get M on two in the same direction. So if this M is positive, we're gonna get a positive M on two on the other side. So we apply M at the uh, simply supported side, we get M on two at the fixed end. Okay, that's the first piece of theory. Second piece of theory is the the fixed end moment, the FEM of a fixed end beam subject to a UDL is WL squared on 12. So if we have a UDL W, the fixed end moments we're going to be getting at either ends will be WL squared on 12. So we're going to be using those two pieces of theory um, to do the moment distribution. So if we start on the moment distribution, so getting understanding of the, of the moment distribution. The first thing we need to do is find the fixed end moment. So I'm just going to be doing a very simple example to illustrate this point. So say we have a beam which is fixed at both ends and we have a UDL of 24 kilonewtons per meter. The length of the beam is 10 meters. So based on the second piece of theory we just discussed in the previous section, which is the fixed end moment is WL squared on 12, we can find that the two fixed end moments will be WL squared on 12. So W is 24 times by L, which is, so W times L squared divided by 12 gives us 200 kilonewton meters, okay? So we have 200 kilonewton meters of moment at the fixed end. Now this moment occurs right at this dot, all right? So what we now need to do for point two is find the out of balance moment. So what I